<laughs> of course it, was... it fucking had poo. <laughs> wait, wait. I'm sorry. Where does the poo come from in this movie about cars? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. What the fuck was that? It was Twilight. It was the greatest love story ever. How 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 was that? How was that a love story? Because it's a it's a love triangle between Edward, Jacob, and Bella. But then Jacob imprints on Renesme, and that was so funny because he was like, "I love your daughter," and she's all like, really uber pissed. And then he names her Nessie, which is awesomely cute. But then, like you know, of course, Bella doesn't like it. Uh, and well, so you know, then and, and, everybody and, and, gets to be happy because Jacob's in love with their daughter. So they all get to be together forever. Yeah, that's a that's a. That's a real good reason to rejoice. This fucking werewolf just fell in love with my infant daughter. Well, no, it's well, no, different. Hold up. No, no, it is not goddamn she's different. she's half vampire, half human. I so don't she care grows what the hell she all is. the werewolves in print, and then that's why Bella was, like, always wanting him around. Oh, yeah. Because so, Renesmee was inside So him. that's okay. So this, the, it's, it's, because of this, we got a werewolf who falls in love with the fucking infant, well, it's not like he's gonna bang her when she's seven. No, when she's ten. Jake is speechless. <laughs> what are you doing here? Is he? <laughs> I don't go to your movies. The fuck if I know what I'm doing here? I'm not supposed to be here. I'm just yeah, as surprised you as you are. I'm holding Spider-Man. You can hold Spider-Man. That, that's my does, job. Does that mean that you're happy or <laughs> angry? I am uh, happy and content. I, 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 I like the movie. I don't, I don't, That's all he's got. Say, all he's got. I don't want to say anything. I, I don't. I just want to sit here want to and enjoy the, the fact that I saw a very, very good movie this summer. That's it. There is one scene where the oldest child is like laying in the sun like this. Yeah. And the mom has her two fingers and is tracing them like this. <laughs> Up, hot, and back down, and yeah. then at the moment, oh, this is gonna get good. <laughs> like, for this date night, I better get ahead. <laughs> you will. Thank Don't God. worry. Because, Lord Almighty, that was terrible. <laughs> He's gonna smurf you all night I get long. good reviews when I'm gumming it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you smiled. <laughs> you, don't, you don't need teeth to have you do what I want you to do, baby. <laughs> so uh, we're sitting there, and um, the ticket lady first came in and just like sat there and stared at us. I was like, how you doing? <laughs> She was like, what movie is this? I was like, Mr. Popper's Penguins. <laughs> Come on in, have a seat. We're the only ones watching it. And she laughed and laughed, and I'm sitting there watching the commercials I just paid $10 to see. And, um, this couple walked in, and they're walking up, and the guy was like, wow, I thought we were going to be the only people here. I was like, I was thinking the exact same thing when you guys came in. Yeah. I didn't think much of it. Uh-huh. So, um... <laughs> <laughs> Continue. This is exactly where it's going. <laughs> um, so we're sitting there, and uh, we're watching the newest tweeny movies that are going to come out. Yeah. And um, I hear a moan, um, a female moan. Uh huh. And I was like, "What the fuck was that?" Yeah. And I started to laugh because they're sitting like in the very top row of the theater, yeah. right, way behind us. I'm sitting, we're sitting like front row, like <laughs> yeah. so not front row center, but like, like in, in the, the middle, middle of the row, like the ideal viewing spot. Yeah. And um, I heard that, so I started to giggle because it's <laughs> midnight and I'm yeah. tired. <laughs> and um, and then I hear, ah, ouch. It's like, what is going on up there? And Dad I does it go there? <laughs> I, I turned around and looked, and I didn't, I didn't see anything. So I was like, well, okay. Uh huh. And then uh, the girl walked down the aisle. This is all, of course, uh, before the movie ever started. Oh. And um, so she was walking down, and she was tugging at her shirt a little bit, like you know, pulling it down. Yeah. It's like, what the fuck are they doing up there? Uh huh. I like that one kid though, in the way, but. <laughs> 
in the back. The kid way in the back. He he was awesome. Um, I don't even remember what scene it, it was. It was the scene where uh, Ray Romano is they when the pirates attack their iceberg and they're shooting ice cannonballs at him. Oh, that's right. And he it gets, hits he him in the head. head. It, yeah. it kind of passes out. Yeah. And then it kind of fades to back, black, and in the back of the theater, the kid that goes, No! Yeah. No! <laughs> you son of a bitch! That was one of the biggest laughs I got in the movie. <laughs> we get to the treasure thing. She's lowering it down. The uh, the Simon girl is singing a song. The entire time the crazy lady's like, you keep going, you just keep going down there, and she's the one who's feeding the fucking line. <laughs> the shipbuck is suspended in air. <laughs> How the hell is she going to go down faster? <laughs> you are feeding the rope. Let it go if you want her to go faster. And then she's like, what was it? She's like, oh, I'm done. I've got all the treasure I can. Well, She's... if I can hear you talking, clearly you haven't stuffed your cheeks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, now you're good. Okay, now you're good. <laughs> Come on up. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, which you fucking won't, it, it turns into this... <laughs> Ow! Ah! Speaking of which, this is one of the first fucking things in the goddamn movie. <laughs> is, what, what the <laughs> fuck was that? <laughs> it's like, oh, my tummy is speaking to me. Yeah, like... It's Alex's birthday, and they hand him a cake. They're like, make a wish. And when he's about to do it, the uh, King, King Julian, <laughs> and then the, 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 the koala that doesn't say anything during the whole movie. And then the, the little guy with the huge eyes. Um, they pop out. He's like, audio wish came true. And then the, they, they go, oh, Mort, Mort, that's Mort. his name. They, they Mort. hand to Mort, and he goes, my tummy don't feel good. Blah. And no sooner, it was like. It did, but it wasn't, it just kind of It was it baby spit out. up. Yeah, it is what it was. It was like, it's like when a baby, like, kind of spits up, and it's just blah, 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 blah. That's what he did, but it was just. so much there, It this. just kept going and going. <laughs> And that's how I looked at it. I was like, what the, the fuck, fuck was, was that? <laughs> what the hell was that? Please explain it to me. Well, you see. <laughs> I don't care. I don't fucking like it. I don't like Tim and Eric. Me the either. same fucking comments popped up with, you know, the Terrace Malick, the Tree of Life. Oh, you just don't get it. No, maybe you don't fucking get it because you're reading too much into it, you prick. <laughs> the fuck over it. Maybe it's just bad. Why was this movie made? Because Adam Sandler doesn't have people to say no to him. No. <laughs> Please no. Please God no. And so she comes, <laughs> she comes back in. The movie started. So I'm sitting there watching this just, just awful movie. And I start hearing this rhythmic... <laughs> <laughs> Right? And, um, it wasn't at, just the penguins slapping their whip. Oh, no, 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 the penguins have not shown up yet. <laughs> and so I'm hearing this, and at first, at first I thought Jared was just ripping ass, because it sounded like it was coming right beside me, and I look over at Jared, just, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, it wasn't Jared. I, I really was just, I was like... like brain dead <laughs> yeah. oh, this I, movie was just so bad it was it was bad <laughs> it was God. bad and um so i was like okay it's not jared what are they doing up there and i turned and um i'm sitting kind of like this yeah. and they can't see me so i go like that to turn and look uh-huh and when i looked up there i saw titties <laughs> <laughs> bare ass titties the girl was giving the guy a hand job. Yeah. At least I'm assuming that's what that was. <laughs> but fucking naked. <laughs> they both were. I turned around and looked, and for some reason, I guess at midnight, I'm used to seeing these things. Yeah. So I turned around and looked, and went, oh, okay. And went back to watch a movie, and like, I was like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> and I turned around and looked, and sure enough, they spent the entire movie having sex. So they go on this. Ex what do they call extreme it? Extreme tourism. tourism. 
Okay. <laughs> when I think of fucking extreme tourism, I think, hey, we're going to the uh, Amazon. We're going to... We're, we're going to repel down the Grand Wall that's uh, the Grand Canyon. Yeah, we're going to do something <laughs> crazy. Not go into a radioactive ghost town to look at a whole bunch of creepy-ass shit that's been laying around for 25 fucking years. That's not extreme. That is boring as hell. I have never seen... Any of these other movies. Well, I, tried to get you I have them. never read those sacrilegious, stupid fucking books. They're not so stupid. So here is what I understand of this stupid teenager falls in love with stupid goth kid. Stupid he's goth not kid. Goth, hold he's up. A vampire and he stupid goth kid blood. turns out to be, I'm a vampire. Ooh. And so she has the goo goo eyes for the goddamn vampire in the first movie, right? And then we have this, and then vampire leaves. Oh no, vampire, no. Uh, here comes movie. shirtless half Indian dude. No, he was Let's just before. stay this the entire rest of the what second he wasn't movie? Shirtless through, okay, like, the so whole movie. we got shirtless dude and we got vacant stare bitch. And so vacant stare bitch is like I'm still pining over goth kid. And if if what I was told it's true. She starts trying to kill herself because she just can't fucking she's live not without herself. this she's pussy herself, looking she's goddamn herself goth. In danger she's trying she to herself kill herself. In she can see everything. It's a beautiful love story. Damn it! I do not like Adam Sandler. A fuck of the sight. Fuck of the angry Jake. I can't do it. I do not like Adam Sandler. I avoid him like the plague. Uh huh. And here the fuck I am at two thirty at night with heart palpitations because I just saw the single worst movie quite possibly ever. I did try to read Wicked and I got about 10 pages in. Well, you gotta keep going. Before the book that I was reading had so many yellow highlighter marks on it because it was using words I've never seen before. Uh-huh. So I had to get a dictionary. Oh, my book, actually, I wrote the definitions of those words in the margins. The second I have to do that to read a book, <laughs> I have to have two books open to read one book. It's two books Done! too many! Done! Burn them all. I'm getting behind the Christians. Burn all the books. Burn them. <laughs> Useless. Jared had no idea what they were doing. After he was like, dude, why didn't you tell me? I was like, dude, why weren't you listening? <laughs> I, was, I was watching this great movie. This no. movie was awesome. <laughs> no. I believe you. It sounds like your movie was better than ours. Way better. <laughs> this is by far the best movie I've seen. We were watching Green Lantern, a room full of comic book geeks. There was no sex going on. <laughs> you should have came to Mr. Popper's Penguin. You should have texted us sooner. We would have came. That is where you get laid. Uh, Mr. Popper's Penguin. Dude, if you had texted <laughs> Us like five minutes into that, we would have left Green Lantern. Yeah. You should have just came over anyways. There was nobody there. There was two people having sex, and you could hear penguin noises going. Meh. <laughs> At the same time, she's going. Ah. Was she hot? Huh? No. Was she hot? No. They were white trash. They, they were very really. trashy. Yeah, they were very. But it was trash. worth it. I don't care what she looked like. <laughs> Kudos for her. Yeah. Hopefully, I'm she's... so glad I paid money so you could watch some fucking. <laughs> <porn> right <laughs> in front of you. I was. I had to watch. Green Lantern. I, I had to watch. I was you had watching, much better fucking 3D than I did. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching Mr. Popper's Penguins. I I don't know. I I. Jared, I'm sorry, man, but there is no excuse for you to be watching Mr. Popper's Penguins and not realize there dead. are bare ass titties right behind you. I was brain dead. So much titty. I, it was through the whole movie. The whole like I would Dude just, has some stamina. I'm like, okay, I have to focus somewhat because I got to do a review. Yeah, but I can't because there's two people having sex yeah. right behind me. So part of the movie, where I was like, I, you know what? I'm pretty sure I can ad lib what's going on next. Uh -huh. I'm gonna go turn around and watch the titty. Seven penguins, or so how many? Uh, there were six. Oh, okay. Good sir, <laughs> you did not see the movie or the people fucking. Not only can I remember uh. the number of penguins, I can remember their name and that chick's titties. <laughs> <laughs> they were 34 C's, and they were very well, well. Well done. There you go. That's the extent of the humor in this goddamn movie. Yeah. <laughs> I could tell Jake was judging me when I started laughing at that. <laughs> you goddamn right I was judging you. <laughs>
Really? You're going to find enjoyment in this fucking thing? <laughs> Son of a Was bitch. It? You'll laugh at anything. You having me go <laughs> to that fucking movie is a personal fucking insult. <laughs> I'm Man, done with. Well, I well, am done with this fucking website. You well, take the rest of it. You shove it firmly up your fucking ass. This fucking movie is a little bit racist, <laughs> and I say oh, this. Yes. And I say this because there's two instances in this movie where the chipmunks decide to change how they speak. Yeah. All right. So. Oh. Yeah, there goes the light. Thank God. Oh, am I done? Oh, God. Damn it. <laughs> all right, so there's a scene where they all get in trouble, right? And Dave tells them, you guys stay in the room. Mm -hmm. Pick whatever movie you want to watch, stay in the room. So, of course, all of them besides the fat one yeah. leave. And so um, the fat one. they basically split up. <laughs> Alvin turns into Sean Connery. Connery. Yeah. And goes to a casino. <laughs> 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 and then Simon yeah. is trying to reel him in. So those two are at a casino. Mm -hmm. So the three whores go to like a dancing <laughs> area, <laughs> right? Yeah. And so those they're salsa da dancing. They, yeah, salsa dancing. Salsa That's dancing. That's what it was. Yeah. And so they're like, all right, we're gonna do some yeah. salsa dancing. And so here comes these three. Uh, one of them was Latino. Yeah. One of them was black. One of them was white. We got <laughs> yeah. the trifecta. There. We had to cover all of our bases. We got three. A whole bunch of white people. One Latino. One black guy. Good. <laughs> so, so these three women kept up, come up, and the Latino was like start talking shit about their clothes. I guess mm -hmm. that's a really big woman insult. Fuck yeah. off, I know. And, um... The, the chip... The chip whore, the main one, the Alvin girl, basically. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, they start getting into, like, this little bit of a verbal cat fight. And... <laughs> The girl Alvin <laughs> was like, she, I'm going to ab with this because I can't remember what she said. Just do, it, just do it in the voice and you're good. I can't get my voice that high. I mean, if, you want, if, you, want me, if you want me to do the ghetto voice, I had every intention of doing that. <laughs> Go ahead. But basically what happened was they're talking shit, right? Mm -hmm. And then the female Alvin was like, oh, bitch, no, you didn't. All right, no, you didn't. You ain't going to come over here and talk about my clothes like this all up in this dance club. Mm -hmm. You get your you get your fake press on nails all up on out here because these reels these nails these are real, are bitch. You see that? Shh. Yeah. Why? Why? Really? Why? And then there's a dance off. And then we have a dance off. And you know how stupid it is seeing three grown ass women doing a dance routine with CGI little fucking chipmunks. Who's the judge? This the crowd was the judge. I don't fucking know. White folk. <laughs> and so they do this little dance off. It's like, okay, that's a little bit racist. I don't know why she decided to go ghetto, but okay, whatever. I'll allow it. This is terrible. Terrible. It's the fucking up a whole nother generation of women again. Again, it's doing this. It's the same fucking thing that we saw in Beauty and the Beast. A goddamn woman. <laughs> Some goddamn woman who can't take care of her own goddamn business can't figure it out without the help of some penis that comes over and dickmatizes her. Woohoo! I think I want that penis. <laughs> Dude, I'll bet you now, after this experience with Popper's Penguins, you're really looking forward to Cars 2 oh next my, week. Oh, you have no idea. I'm, I'm going in butt-ass naked with a trench coat, a top hat, and I'm sitting right in the back so I can just watch everything. I really wanted to get the name and addresses and phone numbers of that couple <laughs> and have them come out to every midnight screening from now on. Just, just so you could join in? Good Lord, no. <laughs> I'm not crossing swords with him. I don't want any of his juice on me. I'm That's looking at the trap, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. It's like an eclipse. Was there any kind of, like, weird eye contact oh yeah at, oh, during yeah. or after oh, yeah. the movie uh, uh yeah actually during them having sex yeah they, give you a thumbs up or anything they noticed me looking at them yeah and i had this big shit-eating grin on yeah. because this is hilarious <laughs> this is the greatest thing i've ever seen in a movie theater yeah 
Well, outside of the pornos. <laughs> and, um, like, she, she was uh, positioned on top, so I couldn't see him. Mm -hmm. I believe I, it's called Reverse Cowgirl. That would be Reverse Cowgirl, mm -hmm. but I do not know which hole it was in, so I'm going to leave that open to debate. <laughs> because she, she said, didn't ouch. Say, ouch. <laughs> yeah. so, um, he didn't use enough butter. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, something like that involves Crisco. <laughs> <laughs> I need lard for this, baby. Were there people Jesus. fucking this time? Fuck no, there was family. Family kids. And a midnight fucking showing. Really? There's yeah. this three-year-old kid with his fucking family. There's other children there. What kind of irresponsible fucking parents <laughs> take their fucking kids out to, to a, a place where people have sex? Where, <laughs> where one theater down, two people were boning in the exact same seats where the kids were. That is irresponsible. Yeah. So it was pretty crowded then? Ours was about... Yeah, let's go with crowded. Let's hey, go with ten people. <laughs> I'm <laughs> just hey, Jake. <laughs> Hi there. Spider Man. But, uh, I keep hitting, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. <laughs> I keep hitting the Jake button. Jake's just flattered that they got the idea for the mask from El Topo Chico. It is not harmless, Brad. <laughs> Did something happen when I almost fell asleep? Oh, well, there was the part with the crab. Oh, yeah. That was mildly disturbing. All right, all right, all right. So there's this scene, right? It's uh, They're in the middle of a storm. This is right after the separation. They're on their little iceberg. It's going everywhere. It goes under the water, pops up. There's a yeah. huge crab where John Linguizamo goes, Holy crab! <laughs> You're sitting there, Ow! I fucking hate puns! I hate them! And, and so he says that, I'm like, oh, Fuck. And then there's some more, like, twisting and turning, and then yeah. there's a water spout in the middle of it. Yeah. And then it shows the John Leguizamo little oh, sloth. Yeah. And he's, like, hanging out by the giant crab leg. Mm -hmm. And um, he was like, well, that wasn't so bad, right, buddy? Yeah. And then it pans up, and it's just the leg with the <laughs> bloody stuff on the top. <laughs> We're sitting just, there like, ah! Jesus Christ, I didn't hear a no from the kid yeah, in the yeah, back. Yeah, the kid was all right with that. <laughs> yeah. Minor character brutally dies. Oh, that's all right, as long as Ray Romano's okay. By having a werewolf fall in love with a goddamn infant? Yes, well, I mean, she grows super fast, so it's Oh, no, different. that's okay. No, that's it completely is, okay. Just in a couple of years, like she will seven. be a full-grown adult. Oh, my but God. don't worry, she'll have the mentality of no, a 10-year-old. No, So you're no. still raping a 10-year-old. They, the they explained at the end when, like, the, the Indian All guy he comes, said was, was like, I was full-grown full grown. after yes. seven years. Well, she I could was talk, and she was grown. only, like, a few months, so obviously, like, she completely grows, so she'll be fine, and she'll be full-grown. It's not like he's gonna bang a baby. That's exactly what he's doing. No, it's not. He's just fawning over her. They have this connection. There is. Okay. I stared just right at her. Yeah. And she stared right back at me. Didn't miss a beat. Yeah. And that is something you just gotta give thumbs up to. She's and just looking. She just like like me and you are having eye yeah. contact right now, just like this. Uh huh. Only imagine. I am jerking you. off right now. <laughs> well, I, I I know. And I'm okay with this. Well, she, did like, she smile at you? No, she just uh, she just stared intently yeah. at me. It's like, <laughs> is my turn next? <laughs> like, did, was I supposed to get a raffle ticket? Because mm -hmm. I didn't get that 50-50 drawing. Yeah, that's and that's my bullshit. Pie. <laughs> that's my pie. <laughs> oh, fuck. So I had a terrific movie experience. Jared's I'm glad. Was horrible. Uh, well, what was like the eye contact like when you? I assume you left the theater at the same time, or did they stay behind? Oh, no. oh they, they stayed behind. They stayed they? behind. Yeah. yeah. Like when 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 the when the movie was over and they played Vanilla Ice. During the during they credits. do on the trailer credits. too on the trailer during the end there. credits. So they pl they were playing. I got off movie. I was like, all right, this is cute. My cue to leave. I got up and I immediately turned around and looked. Yeah. And she actually had her shirt on, but she it was like, yeah, like she was just putting. She it had on. spaghetti straps on, so she yeah, was like, like uh, straightening out. She her was straightening. Straight. You have ruined this movie <laughs> experience for me. Thank you very much. <laughs> I will never be able to look at a penguin without getting aroused. <laughs> I went to therapy to get rid of that, <laughs> and you brought it back. Thank you. <laughs> so uh, yeah, well, you know, I turned around and looked. She was doing that. Yeah. And I, <laughs> I just smiled. <laughs> I thought job. this was supposed to be. Re 
review of penguins and now it's a review of fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I well, review I was... fucking every day, every every at least once every week. So <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Yeah, I just wanted in on some of the fun. Yeah, um, see, the car is shit. Oh, apparently, apparently the car is shit. And breathe. Yes. Who, it breathes. It breathes. There's this fucking scene where this goddamn the British fucking car is on this oil rig in the middle of the fucking ocean, right? He makes this big hot of fucking paloo, uh -huh. and there's a big chase. He jump or reverses off of this fucking platform. He dives in the water, yeah. right? He turns himself into a a submarine. <laughs> And is floating around. A breathing apparatus comes up and covers his fucking mouth. Yes, I understand that cars have air filters and all that shit. Really? Really? That's what's going to cause my super underwater car to function is a breathing apparatus? That is the stupidest fucking thing I have ever seen. Oh, man. So, in four books... We have a girl fall in love with a vampire. Mm -hmm. The vampire leaves. She gets... He leaves to hold up! Her. She, he leaves because he's a fucking pussy and he can't ball the fuck up and be a man. No, he doesn't so hold up! Vampire leaves. Enter shirtless guy. Shirtless guy tries to... If they were friends before, hold up. it's not like... Shirtless guy advantage. tries to get the rebound fuck. Shirtless guy failed miserably. Oh, so we got mopey shirtless guy, and then we got just stupid crazy woman. Just I'm gonna go try to just do these stupid stuff because I just don't know what to do because, because she was my crazy, vampire because she guy is just she so loved, long. And every time she put herself in How danger, about we have a that. strong female character? Why don't she we try is that? Strong. She's she like the strongest, prettiest vampire ever, and she like saved everybody. And she was like, she, she, was, she could use her powers, like her special power is she would use her shield. And so she would like protect everybody. And they say like so many times that she's like the prettiest, most strongest vampire ever. So it's showing you that you can be strong and that you can have like a happily ever after. And so that you shouldn't be down like if you're like picked on or left out or whatever. And good things. As long as you have a pussy ass boyfriend, everything will be all right. How? What kind of time do you have on your fucking hands <laughs> that you will legitimately go out and see a two and a half hour movie twice, let alone three fucking times? There's nothing about this movie. Everything that people feel about this movie, they drive it from themselves. This movie doesn't, it's the laziest form of movie making there possibly is. Let's shoot some pretty shit and let's make other people throw their own crap into it. Oh yeah, That's like it's sure, like at the end, like underneath the water shot and there's a door under the water that opens out into the yeah. water. And so here's where it gets a little bit worse. I can forgive the ghetto thing. Yeah. Alright? I can forgive that. And so Alvin is fighting this little he's like this honey badger shows up and like is about ready to steal something. Mm-hmm. And uh, what the fuck did he say? Don't step, step off, essay. I'm gonna go loco on you. <laughs> he was like, "You better step off, essay. I'm about to go loco on you." <laughs> really? <laughs> really? We're doing this? <laughs> this is okay now. <laughs> did, did we suddenly jump into a Cypress Hill video? What the fuck? <laughs> it's okay because it's a callback. <laughs> it's okay. They got George Lopez to show up for one quick line. <laughs> <laughs> this Stephanie Meyer bitch. I have heard about this host. I have heard about we this just book. Saw the for From it. what I understand, yeah, we saw the previews. We'll fucking get to that in a second. But before we do, I have heard about this. Some alien uh, parasite, for lack of a better term, that I can't fucking think of right now because my brain is completely fucking fried. Some alien thing goes into this woman. And this. Now the alien controls the woman. And so the alien slash woman goes to this resistance because it feels bad. Well, the woman's husband, before it was taken by this alien, the, the, those two were husband and wife, and now he can't stand alien chick. 
So in the book, he puts her into a closet and beats the unholy shit out of her. While she is in this closet, that is when she falls in love with him, and that is the rest of the book. Are you motherfucking kidding me? Are you fucking joking me? We are a, a, a new and entire group of women are going to have that same stupid brainwashing shit that it's okay to have some fucking jackass dude who beats the shit out of you because secretly he has a heart of motherfucking gold. No, the dude is a motherfucking prank and the only thing that he's good for is to hold a bullet right here between his eyes. It's the same fucking story for this. The Bella girl, shoot her in between the eyes. This Edward do, shoot him in between the eyes. Shirtless guy, Every one of these characters, kill them all. The original girl from the Spy Kids, uh, I'll call her No Act. Yeah. No Act is there, and um, she was talking about, like, they started showing the other movies. Oh, boy. Oh, thank God there was I literally played. a camera rolling. There was literally a camera rolling, like, quick scenes from the other three Spy yeah. Kids. She was like, that, that's, you know, my brother, blah, blah, blah. We were the originals. Was like, and one of the uh, new kid actors like, oh, yeah, where's he? It's like, that's classified. We don't talk about that. <laughs> what? Did you see that that mutant looked like a turtle? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, mutant turtle. <laughs> They all look like turtles. The one that came out of the, dra like, when he pulls back the drape yeah. and it comes crawling out. I was like, it's a turtle. It ran on all fours. <laughs> Giant mutant I turtle. Could, I could have sworn they eat pizza and lived in the sewers. Well, they kind of did live in the sewers. <laughs> well, yeah. But none of them said cowabunga. I was so disappointed. Did you hear that guy go, golem? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The golem guy. Here's where the differences end completely because in Harry Potter that battle actually happened people died what and is, this one it, it was a fucking like vision it. a vision that is no, lazy storytelling we no, can't make these sweet happened. 12 year old little girls sad because a whole bunch of their favorite little vagina melting vampires die really this is how you end a series that has been as That's popular as Twilight it. is? You have a fake battle? It's not fake. It's what would have happened if they but battled? But it didn't happen. There was no consequences in this movie. There wasn't a goddamn thing. There was nothing. They had this meeting, this future-telling vampire's like, oh, I got evidence, man. That's what would have happened. And here, I brought this white dude with a spray-on tan, uh, excuse me, Indian, over here because he is a half-vampire. And, and this dude shows up. I'm a half vampire. What do you eat? Blood and also meat. How old are you? 150. Yeah. So <laughs> no, everybody and was worried done. that Renesmee, and because she done. was growing so fast, that was going to die. How and so it the explains that a half vampire and a human can live for a really long time, and so her and Jacob. That's happy. no, 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 no. That is how the story. Ended. No, it ends where you get to see Renesmee and Jacob happy, and then Bella and Edward are there so they didn't have to split up and that the Voltori didn't come back. Oh man, I wish it could I come wish out it was, sooner. I wish it was closer. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I really hope the world just explodes by December. <laughs> Come on, Myers. You're now a believer in the... Uh... You goddamn right I am. Because <laughs> if it's not that, it's going to happen in the summer when that stupid movie that doesn't deserve a sequel comes the fuck <laughs> yeah. out. Because if the Mayans weren't right, I will blow up this fucking planet. <laughs> Queen Latifah's character, because she stomps on the rabbit. Yeah. And she goes, silly rabbit. Yeah, yeah. Piracy doesn't... There never does pay or something uh -huh. along those lines. Yeah. Really? You're going to bring the tricks rabbit into this? <laughs> How about you leave that motherfucker alone and give him a bowl of fucking tricks? <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's a fucking bowl of cereal. You goddamn kids. You can kids. fucking get more fucking cereal. It's, it's probably better for the rabbit than it is for the kids. Right? Harry Potter, love it or hate it, is a good story. It's a good story. Yeah, there's a little bit of romance in it, but that's not the centralized idea. 
we just took a masturbatory thing for tweens and made it a movie. And it turns out it's shit. It's been shit from movie one you don't all the way to this one. That. I can guess. I told you and what Twilight, the first we one have is. Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey? Really? Have you read that? Not yet. No, but you I haven't. Want, I want to get it for Christmas. I've read it. I've read it from cover to back. I'm just saying, without Twilight, Hold you up. wouldn't have Fifty Shades of Grey. Fifty Shades of Grey has absolutely nothing, nothing to do with Twilight. It's just the same fucking people, only with sex. That's the only difference. It was originally difference. a fanfic of Twilight. So without I Twilight, you wouldn't have Fifty Shades of Grey. And I've read Fifty Shades of Grey, and, and I hated that woman. Why? Because she's a flaming fucking idiot. She's an idiot. Stephanie Myers, her characters are just worthless sacks of skin. That is all they do. And her goddamn... And okay, this is a fan fiction. It wasn't... Fifty Shades of Grey was not written by Stephanie Meyer, I don't think. Probably not. I doubt it. But still, you still... Alright, it's a fanfic. Okay, great. So I'm guessing uh, Thomas Gray is supposed to be Edward. Sh I haven't read it yet. I'm getting it for Christmas. I just said his name! It's I don't want to know back back anything about it. The I don't want there is one thing about this movie that I enjoyed, and this is because I have a warped sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> but when the cars die... Because cars die in this movie. Yeah. People die. Yeah. <laughs> they, like, disintegrate die. <laughs> <laughs> and because they're humanizing the cars more and more, it's a little graphic. <laughs> like, it's with, like the, with the oil refinery thing, there's uh, the, the, um, the British... The secret agent car, like, knocks a car off. There's, like, a 30-second thing of this poor car falling to his death. And he hits the water, and literally, peaches just go... Yeah. So this car literally just... <laughs> this person evaporated when they <laughs> landed on top. Bruce Campbell. Oh, all right. Yeah. Yeah. The Bruce Campbell death scene. They have him up on like this little uh, I don't I don't know what the hell they call it the shit that you lift your cars up the super oh, jack from yeah. the mechanic shop yeah. um, and like it's called a lift whatever <laughs> and in fair in Ferris Bueller fashion they have his back wheels turn oh, and they're yeah. going right they gave Bruce Campbell uh, the killer gasoline and they have the high frequency shit like put on him and are like torturing him right mm -hmm. and so at the of course the main bad guy that you see is german mm -hmm. so at the end like the little german car was like okay i understand i must kill him so he was like hits the fucking thing like full blast and they're showing like a like a close-up of the the tv the, screen the lens, that the, yeah the, the lens, tv yeah. screen that they're showing it's like oh no now you know what's going to happen they're going to kill everybody in the race yeah in within like the uh the reflection of it you see bruce campbell's car whoosh, just yeah. fucking cat, just yeah. blow up <laughs> yeah. on fire oh yeah it's like that was really graphic. <laughs> I looked at the little pen knife yeah. and I looked at him. And I went, "Fucking really, dude? <laughs> You're gonna try to hold me up with a pen knife? Yeah. Get the fuck out of here!" And I, I turned around to leave, and he started following me. And that's when I turned around. I was like, "Dude, I'm a delivery driver. I deliver in the yeah. ghetto of this town. This town is incredibly dangerous. Uh -huh. I got a nine millimeter yeah. in my car now. I'm gonna go to it and I'm gonna shoot you yeah. in the fucking head." Mm -hmm. Then he turned around and left. No. I didn't have my nine on me. Yeah. So I just sped the fuck away. All of this for an anchovy and pineapple pizza? I'm not gonna fucking eat it! <laughs> Looking at it as a movie, as just a standalone film, without me seeing one, two, part one, just, just part two, it was a bad movie. There was no emotion out of the main female character. She is quite possibly the worst actress I've ever seen on screen. Um, as far as the story goes, um, <laughs> recycled garbage. Um, there was the one shining point, which was the, um, I can't, I can't, I 
can't think of his name, uh, head uh, vampire, just because uh, Michael Sheen, thank you, uh, Michael Sheen, his character, um, he was amazing. Just the overacting that he did, and you could just tell, you could just look at him and tell he didn't care which is great. That's the mentality that you got to go into when you're filming some putrid piece of shit that only brain-dead women will like. Not not good women, not women with a, with a head on their shoulders, just the stupidest kind of women. The kind of person that just needs to drown and die. Those are the kind of women and or people who... Um, would watch that. So, um, looking at it as a story, it was, it was terrible. The final climax, the big battle, didn't even fucking happen. And I can't stand that. I can't. If you're gonna write some characters, don't be afraid to kill them the fuck off. There was a whole bunch of other vampires in there I severely doubt, severely doubt, were even mentioned in the first three movies. We got random Mayan white guy sprayed on Indian dude. We got Amazon chick showing up out of nowhere. I thought those were cannon fodder. I thought, well, I could definitely know that those ones are going to die in this upcoming battle. Nope. There were four Everyone, movies hold up. One. Hold up. You Everyone. Said there were three movies. There were four movies. <laughs> so... There was no battle, there was no climax, there was no sense of, I can't fall for the characters that didn't have shit happen to them. Nothing really bad happened to them. They were in no real danger, apparently. Because I thought this was supposed to be, let's save our daughter, let's fuck them up, let's do something. And then here came the battle, I'm like, alright, good something to entertain me. Was the battle entertaining? Sure. There was more decapitation in this PG-13 movie than I've seen in a lot of rated R movies. So yeah, that was fun, but sans that, I mean, there, there, there was no, there was nothing about this. This was just <laughs> enjoy. Is that what the books are? Is is this what this Twilight thing that is just sweep the nation? This is what you people got hyped up about? Was this? This? I have no faith in this goddamn car. I have no more faith in human beings because they fell in love with this shit. And that's all that it is. It's just this woman took a shit on, let's, a cumulative of 2,000 pieces of paper and wrote and just, and made four books out of them. That is what happened. And for shame for all of you who fell for that crap. It's, it's a bad story. There's nothing, nothing about this at all. It's whiny teenage drama. Whiny teenage drama. Drama, which is fine in an hour and a half movie set in the 80s. That is where whiny teenage movies go. That is it. Nowadays, you got to do something better than that. You have got to do something better than that. There, I, I, it's, it, it, it hurts. It hurts me here. It hurts me here that, that people... Namely women, and I really don't like to say that, but namely women fell in love with this with this series of books. And it's it's just the it's the same shit. Oh, it's it's the worst rendition of Romeo and Juliet I've ever seen in my life. That's what it is. That's what this story boils down to. It's a shitty Romeo and Juliet. Is this how devolved de our society has become now that we make a children's movie where Awkward adolescent kids uh, are now doing blowjob jokes underwater. Underwater, fucking really? Oh, come on, we did that shit when we were kids. 
<laughs> did, did we? You never got the blowjob underwater at the community pool before? Not when I was 12! <laughs> <laughs> I watched so much porn. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently you fucking did. I'm a pizza delivery driver. I never once had somebody offer to pay for their fucking pizza <laughs> with titties and a blowjob. I just remembered something. Oh, shit. I finally remembered the part that I laughed at. It was when we all thought King Julia was dead. <laughs> and this... What the hell happened? Like, he th got thrown off the ledge or something. <laughs> For a second, we all think he's dead. <laughs> and it cuts to the koala guy, and he goes... He starts smiling. He just has this big-ass smile. Dis disturbed fucking... <laughs> Shit. Oh, God damn it. See? We're terrible. Yeah, I know, right? There we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was actually for the gin to me. I'm like, he's yeah, yeah. Psycho. He just has this slow smile and just, he's dead. He's which, finally. Which made me laugh because I went, he's, <laughs> he's dead. dead. And then he pops up and me and the koala both went, oh, <laughs> fuck. This irritating ass guy is in the whole fucking movie. Why didn't they kill him? I, I think they actually used your facial expressions for that part. Of the Man, movie. I think they both capped you right at that part. I was unaware. He's uh, like, eh. oh. Oh.